City of Stevens Point Public Protection Committee meeting, recorded March 11, 2019. Protection Committee meeting will come to order. It is 618. The clerk notes that we have perfect attendance, <laughs> as always. Good job. Um, the first item on our agenda tonight is uh, the license list for new operators and bartenders' licenses. Any Move comment? approval. Motion to approve by Phillips, a second by Alder Nabel. Any further discussion? Anything from the public? All right, that motion is to approve. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? And that license list is approved. On to item number two, which is our temporary Class B or Class B licenses for picnics for Create Portage County for their uh, Spectral Micro Cinema Film Fest, which is April 5th, 2019 at 1039B Ellis Street um, with Greg Wright as the licensed operator. This is for beer only. Any questions? Discussion from the committee? Yep, I move to approve the temporary Class D license for the picnic for Create Portage County. Okay, motion to approve by Nable, second by Alder Dugan. Any further discussion? Anything from the public? All right, the motion is to approve that license. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? And that is also approved. On to item number three, which is a change of agent. We have Joe's Bar at 831 Main Street. Uh, Sean Strike replacing Chad Bielen. Cheryl Sales at 221 Madison Street. Sean Quirk replacing Melissa Cook. And Cheryl Sales once again with um, Catherine Hebler. Hebler replacing Brittany Miller. Thank you, Mayor. Any discussion? Questions? Any, any issues that the, um, the, point, the Stevens Point Police Department has with any of these changes? No, we do not. Looking at the individuals that are changing into that position. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to then propose to um, approve this change of agency for both Joe Spar, Cheryl Sales Time, Shields Corporation, and um, on Madison Street, and second one on Madison Street also. A motion to approve? Yes. Great. Is there a second? No second. All right. A second by Alder Kneebone. Any further discussion? Anything from the public? All right. The motion is to approve. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? And those are all approved. On to item number four, which is Pawn Broker Secondhand Jewelry Dealer for Brody Designs uh, with our new address at 1525 Main Street. Any discussions? Yep. I would just like to, to um, indicate that I am really thrilled of what a nice job they have done on that um, piece of property and made, has made that very um, very nice looking to have as, as a transition to part of the where there are neighborhoods too. So they did a nice job and I was glad that they kept that in, in consideration and I would like to move for approval. All right, thank, approval. thank you. I'll second. A second by Phillips. And I'd like uh, to ask a question. Yep. Pawnbroker, secondhand jeweler. Um, Pawnbroker, how does that fall into play? Chief, you uh, anybody? You, <laughs> you pick your chair. Oh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, decisions. Power. Uh, you, can, you can answer, man. That's fine. And, and that's fine. So pawnbroker just gives them the ability to purchase, in this case, jewelry. So old jewelry. Um, it's not like they're opening a pawn shop there, but because oh, that that's what it question. falls under, uh -huh. to, for them to be able to purchase used jewelry, but they, they need this. Sell Pardon? They wouldn't sell used jewelry there. No, they typically reuse the, the gold or gems or whatever it happens okay. to be. Thank you. Okay, so we have a motion and a second to approve. Any further discussion from the committee? Any comments from the public? Motion to approve. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? And that is approved. On to item number five, which is request to hold events with street closings. Um, we have a new event this year, Rick's Run, Walk, and Roll on August 24th, and two reoccurring events with the Trivia Parade on April 12th and Reader's Rock on May 4th. Um, any, anything we need to know from the PD standpoint? The actual, the new event, and I believe we do have a person here that can answer questions if you have, is utilizing a uh, route that we already have in existence and it works well. Oh. 
So I turkey trot route, right? Correct. So looking forward to the event. Okay. Any questions or a motion? Yeah. Um, I wonder what are the temporary structures or smaller tents that might be erected? Would you know? <laughs> Please state your name and address for the record. Uh, Susan Becker, and I live in Wisconsin Rapids. So I'm with Key Mobility. We're putting on the event with Rick's wife. The uh, structures would be putting up like tents to have refreshments underneath it in the event of rain. Okay. Smaller ones than the huge ones. <laughs> so that be on. Yeah. Unless we okay. get a ton of people coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Is there a motion? There is not. Move. <laughs> All right. Uh, to approve by Phillips. Is there a second? Yes. I'm all at you again. <laughs> Any further discussion from the committee? Anything from the public? Thank you. And the motion is to approve. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> and that those three events are approved. On to item number six, the beekeeping licensing. Once again, I'd love to thank uh, Alder Nebo in here for all of her dedicated work on <laughs> making this yeah. making this actually come to fruition. Uh, Comments, questions, discussion, motion? I'll do it again. Um, I, I'll move to approve, but I do have a question. Uh, hang on. I move to approve. Do we have a second? I'll second. All right, a second from Alder Nebo. Yeah. <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead and continue. Um, I, the question is um, where it says that we understand that my permit may be revoked by affirmative vote of the Common Council at any time upon application um, by the Neighborhood Services Officer. Should we use our own? Um, Title, Neighborhood Improvement Coordinator. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, That's I'm sorry. Ours. I yeah. yeah, absolutely. That's what you mean, though. There. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Basically, w this is our chicken ordinance, sure. chicken permit. Yeah. We just, I, Alder McComb had a really good point. We were we were overthinking this, I think, way <laughs> too much, <laughs> and we don't want to overregulate. So I thought, let's just use the chicken process. And we'll just put in the parameters for the hives. Sure. So that's basically what this is. You would do it just like the chickens, go to the clerk's office. Um, you would have to notify the neighbors. And if anybody has a problem, they could come to this committee, whoever the members would be. And uh, this committee as a body could revoke a permit. So there is um, a way sure. to for neighbors sure. to, mm -hmm. to get uh, restitution. Or, sure. I'm not, that's not the word I mean, but consideration to, there. to make concerns. it to yeah. make it right yes to have their uh, concerns heard so okay Alder Phillips well I guess you said uh, this committee or and the council could revoke revoke or stop or them deny. from even denying mm -hmm. if there's an ordinance on a table how do you deny something no you, d you would just revoke the permit you wouldn't there's like you do with the chicken permit the language is the same as the chicken permit so this is just like the parameters that they would find if they went on the website on the, what they need to do to fill out the permit. There isn't an ordinance associated right, with this. Right, right. Oh. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused there, but okay. Uh, item number two, why three feet from the property they're in? Why can't it be 10 feet? I know Madison says three feet and everybody else says three feet. Why the, can't it be 10 feet? This, well, There's it's 10 feet right from up. a sidewalk um, if from your property line, but it also 25? says you've got to have 25 feet from an, an, an building. adjoining building. Well, so if the house is close. The grass next to the, the three feet from the beehive. Well, <laughs> that, that's disturbing to bees. It, it's me, it disturbing is. to the bees when I mow my lawn and they're feeding on the dandelions, but I haven't been stung yet. So no, I, unless you physically disturb the hive, I don't think that's an issue. Okay. Honeybees are not normally aggressive. Their goal is not to attack. Their goal is to get food for the hive. Okay, now we have also a permit fee here of $10. Mm -hmm. I, it, if our enforcement officer has got to go out there or check it or whatever or whatever, it's a known fact that it's about a $50 bill. But they don't have to go out and check before you get a chicken permit either. So we went with the same fee as for a chicken permit. If, if well, somebody is- got a lot to say here in point, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> if, if someone is in violation of the chicken permit, they would, they would be issued a letter as well as anybody else who's in violation of any of our-, our So how do you know if they're in violation? Or not in violation? It's likely a neighbor. Or 
whatever. If the neighborhood improvement the officer wanted to go out after the permit's been issued and make sure that the hives meet these requirements, that would be something they could do. If a neighbor complained, uh, then the neighborhood improvement officer could go out and look and bring a report, you know, and cite them. There's a cost for, to that. And like everything else, if they don't ameliorate the violation, there's a cost involved. Okay. Just like not shoveling your snow or painting your house or... Okay, let's back up to number six. <laughs> Briefly, tell me what that means. What, a flyway barrier? Beyond apex to the high seas point part to the property okay. line, you sealed it in a triangle extending from... Short of drawing a diagram, <laughs> basically yeah, you take a, a triangle from the hive and you build either put a fence or a net or vegetation so when the bees come out, if you have a neighbor who's allergic, for example, you could provide this extra barrier because bees will come out and go up and go out that way. They won't just go straight over. So, so it provides a kind of a flyway for the bees to take them up and away as opposed to just fanning out. At, at a lower level. Okay. It, again, it's something that the beekeepers recommend. And that's all within that three feet? That would be... That would be around... That It would be where it the triangle comes out from the hives. It, it's a measurement, right? Let's see. Okay, so the hive is actually more than three feet for the fence because you put that apex thing in there it might be six feet from the fence because that, you gotta have room for that barrier in there, correct? And d you would have to take all that into consideration when you put your hives in. So if you can't meet the parameters, you can't have the hives. You wouldn't be able to get the permit. We're not saying the hives have to be three feet from the property line. Right, just that they, they can cannot be, be any, any closer, closer. three feet. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I, understand mm -hmm. that. I, I still think so. they can be 10 feet. In not have to worry about the three feet. But here we go with the chickens. Um, one other question is, they can move these all over town? I mean, I, I understood if you're gonna have them in your yard, you have them in your yard so you can watch them and take care of them right. and do everything else. But last month we talked about it and it seemed to me that they could haul them over to your house if they wanted to. <laughs> there are companies that do move pollinators to, from fruit crop to fruit crop, so but this is not address. something a hobby beekeeper is gonna do. So the permit says it'll be at this address. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If you want to home somewhere else, another 10 bucks. Yes. It should be 50. Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, if we're gonna raise it, then we should raise the price for chickens as well. I, I consider them to be kind of comparable. I don't think so if you want to raise I the don't chicken think we price. Need to chicken chickens into this. Let we <laughs> chickens are in the past. We're focused but on bees. I just feel like it, the, it that it's the same kind of category uh, for someone and we shouldn't charge more for that than we do for the chicken permit. But that's certainly a open to question and if people think it should be more, we could make it more. Again, that could be something that as we go through the process We'll learn more about it and see how much more extra work there is and cost to it. So I suspect not a lot of people no. are going to do this because of the cost involved and the labor involved. It's expensive. It's, it's, it really is. Um, uh, and it's a risky proposition with illnesses and pesticides and things that tend to kill the bees off. So, Chairman, could we call for the vote? Yes. Did we have a motion? We do. Yes. We, okay. Yes. That's right. The motion is to approve. Uh, any discussion from the public? Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? No. All right. <coughs> Four to one, and that is approved. And with that, we're adjourned at 632. video of this meeting is available for viewing on the city's website, stevenspoint.com slash videos.